today's Thursday, January 18th. I should be in Florida right now, but I'm not. A lot of shit happened. <laughs> um, so I didn't get to film uh, the last few days, but I do remember what I wore. Sunday, January 14th, I had to teach and I had this new purple hoodie that I bought, like a light purple, like a pale, like lilac, lavender kind of thing. And the color was very similar to the color of the bottle of Ariana Grande REM. So I sprayed that. And that has been said to be a dupe for replica coffee break. Maybe from far away, it kind of is. There, there's definitely like lavender in there and there's definitely like a fluffy whipped kind of vibe. I oversprayed a little bit and when I was sitting in the car driving to work, I kept getting very strange whiffs of like garbage in the car, like hot garbage, like something smelled garbagey, like that sweet rotting fermentation of certain foods or fruits or something, a little bit rancid. So of course I was a little bit self-conscious about that. The top notes are Zephyr, Zephyr. I don't know what that is, but based on the picture, it looks a little bit like a meringue type thing. Caramel, salt, fig, and quince. Middle notes, lavender, pear blossom, base notes, musk, tonka bean, sandalwood. So yeah, for that one, spritz conservatively and um, don't let it get too hot. <laughs> On Monday, January 15th, that was also a chaotic day. I had a lot of things due that day for work, but then that was also the day we like had to reschedule our flight, our travel plans. So that was a whole thing. And then at the very last moment, I got a call saying that my massage therapist had a cancellation and I really, really needed a massage because I something stupid happens with my body where like, because I'm so flexible and because my torso is so, noodly and hypermobile. If I do an extreme enough side stretch, one of my ribs will slip in between two of the deep abdominal muscles and it just irritates the whole, for me, it's the left side of my body. So my whole left side locks up and I get this really awful, stiff, tight pulling pain in, in the left side of my lower back, kind of along the iliocostalis muscle. Not that any of you need to know about that, but I needed a massage because he's the only person that knows how to like undo it. <laughs> Up until that point, I had not worn a fragrance, but I decided, okay, if I'm going to go be in close proximity to somebody, I don't want to overspray, but I was like, ooh, I should wear something light. But also in the massage parlor, you're on a heated massage table. So Monday was an exception. I did not wear a cool weather fragrance on Monday. I did the tiniest, like farthest away spritz of Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. Um, it's a very sugary pear fragrance. I don't know, in my brain, like I think pears can work for winter too, because I always see these weird like pear and mint and cranberry recipes or something like poached pear. I don't know, to me, pear is also like a winter thing, but this is voted as a warm weather fragrance. And I said, okay, if I'm gonna be on a hot table, in a hot massage room studio. This has to be something that, that does not turn disgusting in the heat. That's what I wore on Monday. Pear, musk, mallow, bergamot are the top notes. Orris, violet, and heliotrope are the middle notes. Base notes of marshmallow, white amber, and cashmere. So whenever I smell it, I just get like straight up sugar and like the tiniest little hint of pear. But there are all these things in there that make it kind of powdery and fluffy. Orris, violet, heliotrope, musk mallow, marshmallow. These are all very, and cashmere, I guess a little bit. These are all very like fluffy, light, semi powdery notes. Um, so you would, you would think that this would be a wintertime thing, but I don't know. It's got like hard spring slash summertime votes. I almost think the powder is good. You know, it keeps it light and fluffy despite the heat and kind of like prevents it from turning sour. Tuesday the 16th, we woke up to almost a foot of snow. Well, when we woke up, it wasn't quite a foot yet. It, it started late the night before. It started late Monday night and continued all throughout the morning and even a little bit of the afternoon of Tuesday. So 
I don't think it like officially stopped snowing until maybe like 2 or 3 p.m. And that morning I put some like, you know, Pillsbury grams or crescent rolls or something in the oven just because it, I don't know, it just kind of feels like something you should do on a snow day. And because of that, I figured I just had to wear Sniff Crumb Couture. Even though my husband is not a fragrance junkie, he really doesn't even like to wear fragrances, but he challenged me. He was like, okay, if, if you're gonna get me something that smells good, um, it has to be something that smells like this. And on that morning that he was giving me this challenge, it was like a crescent roll with his um, black raspberry jelly jam that he had made. So of course I was like, challenge accepted. And um, he was surprised. He was like, wow, you, you really did it. <laughs> like you really found the exact thing I challenged you to get. He still doesn't wear it very often. I think it's, it, I'm gonna wear it more than he does, but you know, I spritzed a little bit that morning. It is meant to smell like a very photorealistic buttery croissant with jelly. So the notes are croissant, vanilla, tonka bean, blackcurrant, sandalwood, and rose jam. And it really does, man. It really does. It's the tiniest bit more fruity than I would like. I would like it to be a little bit more bready and, and sweet, but the buttery accord is like, real. I don't know how they made that thing smell like butter. That's what I wore for our snow day. So Wednesday, January 17th, the day that we were supposed to be leaving for Florida, um, that was our original departure date. Now our trip has been postponed to February. I wore Coach Wild Rose just because it was there. It seemed like a safe choice top notes red currant bergamot middle notes rose jasmine base notes and broxin tonka bean and moss i really just didn't know what what to grab coach wild rose was a christmas present from my husband because he's he's learning that he likes the smell of rose and he likes the smell of rose on me so i was just like okay you know this is a safe choice just a straightforward rose fragrance it's like a tie between spring and autumn, but I, I keep it as an autumn fragrance and I thought it performed just fine in the cooler weather, even though I wasn't necessarily outside during the day, but it was a little chilly in the house, so. Oh, and then later, for some reason, I don't know why, I think it's because I accidentally knocked over a bunch of perfumes in my autumn quadrant. All of my fall fragrances, they all like tumbled over and I had to rearrange them. And I had these two little like small, not samples, but like a small travel size from Sniff. When I had ordered that Crumb Couture, I also got Sweet Ash and also Burning Bridges. And I don't know why. I was like, oh, Burning Bridges. I haven't really tried this yet. I gave a little spray on my sweater. I don't know if it was just because I had previously sprayed the rose and they clashed, or if this is just how it smells. It smelled like old makeup, powdery, irisy, and the notes are tobacco, Madagascar vanilla, iris, spices, oak moss, freesia, and rose. So it was just like a super powdery, kind of little bit sickeningly sweet. It was almost giving me like a licorice vibe or like a Sharpie marker vibe. I don't know, I didn't like it. I mean, I'll give it another chance, but I was not really fond of that. So now today, January 18th, a Thursday, when I should have been in Florida, not in these sub-freezing temperatures, I do have to go teach tonight which I'm very scared to do because the roads by me are still shit. Nobody really thoroughly plowed them and I have to drive on a really winding narrow road that doesn't have a guardrail so you can potentially like fall off the cliff and tumble down into the creek. Um, so I might die today, so that's fine. And I don't really know what I'm gonna wear today. I'm thinking Opre by Ellis Brooklyn just because it's like a really fresh, piney, snowy kind of thing. I don't know. I don't want to be here, man. See you tomorrow.